In this video, we'll look at solving equations with even exponents. As we do, we'll let us consider this example. 5 squared equals 25. Negative 5 squared also equals 25. Notice there are two numbers that, when squared, equals 25, one positive and one negative. This means when we clear an even exponent, if the problem has an even exponent, we will have a positive and negative result. We'll often show this with the shorthand plus or minus. Let's take a look at some examples where we use this plus or minus, showing there are two answers whenever we have an even exponent. To get rid of a squared, we'll do the opposite, which is a square root. However, because we're getting rid of an even exponent, we will have to represent the two answers that come out of this as a result. 5x minus 1 is equal to positive or negative 7, because both of those, when squared, would have equaled 49. We will then continue solving this equation treating the plus or minus 7 like an unlike term. This means when we add 1 to both sides, we will not combine them together, but instead write 5x equals 1 plus or minus 7. Finally, get x alone by dividing both sides by 5 to get x equals 1 plus or minus 7 over 5. Once we have isolated the x completely, then we will actually separate this plus or minus symbol into two different results, one where we add and one where we subtract the numbers in the numerator to get our two final answers for x. 1 plus 7 is 8 over 5. The other option the operation gives is 1 minus 7, which is negative 6 over 5. This will give us our two solutions for x, 8 fifths and negative 6 fifths. Let's take a look at another example where we solve by clearing an even exponent and end up with two solutions. In this problem, we have a fourth power, which we get rid of with a fourth root. We remember that getting rid of an even exponent will result in two solutions. The 3x plus 2 equals the fourth root of 81, which is either positive or negative 3. We can then continue solving by subtracting 2, treating those like unlike terms. We get 3x equals negative 2 plus or minus 3. Dividing both sides by 3 will isolate the x, giving us x equals negative 2 plus or minus 3 over 3. And now that the x is alone, we can find our two solutions by doing the plus and the minus separately. When we do the plus, we find out x equals negative 2 plus 3 is 1 over 3, or doing the minus, negative 2 minus 3 is negative 5 over 3. And we have our two solutions. It is very important to remember that when we get rid of an even exponent in the problem, we have two solutions, a plus and a minus, showing up on the line immediately after we take the index. Then, once the variable is isolated, we can separately consider the positive and negative solutions.